Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk um, as it be. If today now the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for now massive support to this channel. I say may God bless all of you now in Jesus name. Amen. I get video away I want to present to Una this very moment and I go to follow now. They watch the video. After we don't watch them together, make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. Everybody, everybody is trying to get the information. Everybody is everywhere, you know, trying to get the information. But I want to drop this message before I go. You see, we have already said it. Our demand is to release our leader, Mas and Amdekano, unconditionally. But what is the game of the Janjaweed government? They brought our leader, Mas and Amdekano, to court to calm the tensions in order to allow the election on the 6th of November. Do you understand? I want to repeat that. So they brought our leader, Mas and Amdekano, to court today to ease the tension, to calm us down, so that they will allow the election on the 6th of November in uh, Anambra. That is the reason why they brought our leader, Mas and Amdekano. They want to use our head. They want to use our head. First of all, I thought that the government of, uh, the terrorist government said they are not afraid. <laughs> I thought that they are not afraid. So they decided to bring our leader to court, to, you know? I thought that they are not afraid. Did you see the game that these men are playing? So that we will allow election in Anambra. Do you understand that? Because now they have adjoined the case now to the 10th of November. Do you see the games that they are playing now? They are using our head. They are using our head. So are we going to allow these men to continue to use our head? No. We have to put an end to it. We said there is no election in Anambra and there will be no election in Anambra. You see, the tricks that they are doing is to calm us down. That has always been the tactics. The tactics is to calm us down. We said that we want the release, the unconditional release of our leader, Mas and Amdi Kanu. We are, our demand has always been from the beginning. That is why I did not agree when some people say they want him to be brought to court. Because I know that it's a game plan so that they can buy us to allow the election in Anambra. Do you now understand what I've been talking about? That is the game now. That is the game now. What are we going to do? Are we going to sit down? Are we going to be talking another story? No. We must be resolute and focus on what we want. See, Dr. Joe Ayaba has already told us what needs to happen. The legitimacy, the political legitimacy is about them doing their elections. They will use every tricks for them to continue to have their election so that they can capture an umbrella. We will not allow that. We have already known what their plans is. So now they thought that everybody will calm down so that they can do election in Anambra. No. Our stand is there will be no election in Anambra. Do you understand the game now? Because uh, that woman joined the case to 10th of November. By that time, election don't finish now. 6th of November is election in Anambra. Do you understand the thing now? So we have to be resolute and focused. You saw our leader. There is nothing that is shaking our leader. Our leader said, oh my God. The unconditional release of our leader, Mazin Khan, is what we want. It's not all this appearance in court or whatever. Because that is what the gender we people want. Just imagine the case, how it will be going now. Just imagine what they are doing. We have already seen the future, what they want to do. They want to be adjoining the case, you know, and be keeping our leader, Mazin Amdekano. Uh, today, the legal counsel, Barrister Ejofo, uh, uh, made a prayer that they should transfer him to the correction center. They rejected that. Now, they say the charges that they put on our leader, Mazin, they are charging our leader uh, terrorist, uh, terrorism, you know, because he called uh, Ma, uh, uh, Buhari, the dead Buhari idiot. Why did they say that he, our leader, oh my God, our leader said that there is no Buhari. Why didn't they put that one on the paper? They are accusing our leader as uh, terrorism, uh, whatever, charges, because he's, he called a uh, Buhari idiot. What does that mean? Do you now understand these games? They know that it's only our leader, Mazin Amdi Kano, that has exposed their plans. 
I have never liked the idea of bringing Mazinam the Kanu to court. We want the unconditional release of our leader because that is the game. We must be focused and know what we want. We are, should not be playing with this man. You understand now? So now they brought our leader Mazinam the Kanu to court. I joined the case to 10th of November. So that is how they will be adjoining the case. The, the 10th of, you know, they will be adjoining the case. No, 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 no. We want the unconditional release of Ali Damaz and Amdekanu. That is our demand. So therefore, we must continue to sit at home every Monday and Friday. In fact, tomorrow is Friday. We must continue to sit at home every Monday and Friday. And we must stop every campaigning activities in Anambra. You know, at first, I think that they are not going to be afraid. You know? I thought they are not going to be afraid, <laughs> but they are afraid. They know that the people, the, what the people want, they know what the people want. So my people, see, what we need to do is that we should not be negotiating with this terrorist government of Nigeria. You see, don't, uh, you know, they brought our leader to buy our mind, to calm us down. That is the secret now. That, that's always been the secret. We already know this. That also, that's always been the secret. So they brought our leader. What is going to happen now? They continue keeping him in the court or in the DSS or what? No election in Anambra. Our conversation has not changed. Our demand has not changed until they release our leader, Mazinam Dikanu, unconditionally. That is the stand. Release our leader, Mazinam Dikanu, unconditionally. If you are planning on the 10th of November, whatever, by that time there will be no election. We will stop the activities of election, Anambra election. We must stop it. Today we must put in fact, enforce everything. We must stop it. First of all, we don't even know the details of the court hearing or whatever, whatever they talked about. What nonsense. What we only know that our leader refused, did not plead count, uh, guilty for the seven count charges. You understand? Because our leader knows that it's rubbish. You get the point. Our leader has said, no, I'm not guilty of it. Any of this. I'm, what is all this rubbish? It's not found in the law. It's nothing. It's nothing. They just want to keep our leader because they know that if our leader is out, the election will not continue. So we must do what our leader will do if he's outside. What is it our leader will do? There will be no election in Anambra. That is that is that is something sure. No, yes, thank you very much. Because that is what they do want to do. I thank you very much. I see all my people, we are on the same page. I see all your comments. It means we know what we are doing. We know that they are they are trying to buy us. Thank you very much. I see everybody's coming. So we're on the same page. So we, what we need to do now is to make sure that we, we, we deploy everything deployable to make sure that the election must not hold in Anambra. If we mistakenly allow election to hold in Anambra, it means we don't fuck up. You understand me? No election. Every, see, this thing, for us to make this to work, everybody must take action. All of us, all of us in Anambra, we must be the one to stop the activities of election in Anambra because that is the secret that is the plan that is what they are doing they brought him to court so that look at now look at what people are going to say now look at what they're going to be telling us now they're going to be trying to say oh they have done it that now that they have brought him to court that they're going to they're going to do this you see this is the political solution that Ike uh, 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 Ekuremaru was talking about Ike Ekuremaru was talking about political solution that they are looking for political solution see let me tell this is the handwriting I'm just telling you from the beginning now what they are going to use to tell you I'm just doing it immediately they, they, they finish the court case I'm starting now to let you know this is what Ike Ekuremaru was talking about the political solution how, how are they planning it they will bring Mazinam Dikanu to court by the minds of the people and say oh look at it we are doing something so now that they have brought him to court that they're going to release him or this and that so they so we should allow election 6th of november no please everybody in anambra in biafra land we have to make sure that we stop that election plans because it will not work we are winning <laughs> we are like the comment I said, we are winning we are winning this struggle and at the end of the day biafra will be restored you see the point now I am so happy that at least they thought that uh, we, we are friends, we are not, oh my, they can see it. Their plans is not working. Their plans did not work. Because at first they thought that everything is going to collapse. Now that they know that what the people want. So they are just wasting time. It is better for them to do the right thing. The unconditional release of Ali Damas and Amdekanu. What we need to do, the strong message we need to send now to the Janjaweed government is to make sure that there will be no election in Anambra. That is the thing. That is the game. Oh my God. We will, we will focus. We have to make our people understand. 
there must not be any election in Biafra land. In Anambra, starting from Anambra. This is what I'm expecting now, even the leadership to focus on. Because right now, right now the game is going to change because they're going to be telling us another story. Remember, they're going to be coming, uh, people like Ifan Yoba is going to be telling us, oh, this and that and that story. No, we do not want any election in Anambra. <laughs> we already have leadership. IPOB already have leadership. We will lead our people anywhere we are, but we don't want any election in Anambra. Thank you very much, my people. I can see all your comments. That is the plan. The focus is now no election in Anambra. No election in Anambra. The seat at home continues and there will be no election in Anambra. They are using our head. They are playing our games. Did you see the kind of security operative that they brought to court? Did you see the kind of uh, uh, the, the show of force that they did today? They, at first, they refused to allow the legal counsel to enter into the court. They brought all kinds of uh, security operatives, even the bandit, the Buga Haram bandit. They came there and even tried to stop Showere and other people. It's just a show of intimid intimidation to see if people will be afraid. You understand me? It's a show of intimidation to use the force. In fact, the presence of the, the Janja with uh, 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 soldiers, army, policemen around the court shows that there can never be justice. We can never get justice out of the court in Nigeria because what they do is that they don't even obey the court orders. The reason why they brought our leader Mazinam Nikano to court today is because of the election. It's nothing else. It is because of the election. Because them themselves, they do not believe, they do not even obey the court system. They brought it because of the election. They are looking ahead of the election. That is why they brought our leader Mazinam Nikano to court today. And they have already deployed their army, their uniformed men in Anambra, waiting to cause havoc and destruction. But we're going to let them know that we will never allow election in Anambra. I have said it, today is what is the day that is going to define this struggle. And we are already seeing it. We are already making, making progress already. Today, <laughs> it is very clear that the Janjaweb people has been using our head years ago. But they have failed this time because the young generation of Biafra will never allow their game plan to work anymore. We are saying, release our leader Mazinam Dikanu unconditionally now. There will be no election in Anambra. That is our stand. Whether they postpone the court case to 10th of November, it does not make sense. What we want is the release of our leader, Mazin Amdekanu, unconditionally, and there will never be election anymore in Biafra land, starting from Anambra. And that is our focus. That is our focus. Uh, Sunday, Adebanjo said, free Mazin Amdekanu, free uh, Sunday, Boho. Okay. Yes, it will not work, if I, it will not work. No election in Anambra State and Monday sit at home continue until our able leader is unconditionally released. Oh, hey, Biafra. We see these guys are, we need to include Friday or Sunday. That is where I'm looking at. We need to add Friday to this sit at home every Monday. We need to add Friday or Sunday to, to make them understand that we are not backing out. You get the point? No election in Biafra land. <laughs> I, like, I like that spirit. We are on the same page. There is no election in Biafra land. We don't want it. We don't, I try to listen to all the things they are doing. You know, look at the show of force. Everything, everything, everything at the end. At the end, what did they do? They didn't even listen to the case. How long did the case last? How long did the case last? They just, their mission, <laughs> we know the truth. Their mission is just to bring Mazinam the Kanu. They allow them to take him pictures so that we can see that they brought him to court and all of that. You know, some people will come and say, oh, rumors of people saying, you guys are saying Mazinam the Kanu is sick, this and that. So when, when our leader Mazinam the Kanu is sick, because they take picture, you will not see that he's, he's not sick. What are you talking about? I know some people, when they are deviating from the truth, the truth is that what the Janjaweed government wanted to do is to just make Mazinam the Kanu to appear in the court so that we will see him and then so that we can calm down and allow election in Anambra. That is why they postponed it to 10th of November. My people, we must defend and protect our land. The only way we can defend and protect our land is to make sure that there will be no election in Anambra. What we want is not election. What we want is a referendum. A referendum for us to decide our fate. If we still want to continue with this marriage, already it's obvious. We don't want. What we want is Biafra. You understand, my people? That is a plan. DOS should double the seat at home. 
I don't have problem with that one now yet. Stanley Okorokuo said, uh, stop talking nonsense by including Sunday and Friday. Why not come down here? Let's be doing it together. Okay. So I'm talking wrong nonsense. Okay. Eric has said, Sima, they just, for, they just forget about election. I am so paranoid right now. Thank you very much. That for the fact that they brought our leader Mazinam the Kanu to court, what does that mean? What, what are they talking about? Has our leader committed any crime? No. Our leader has not committed any crime. They had the one that kidnapped our leader. We have not even talking. We have not even finished talking about that one. How did they? How did they even go to the point of adjoining the case to 10th of November? Have they discussed the the situation surrounding the kidnap of our leader Mazin Amdekano? I did not even see him. I saw pictures that they take. Thank you very much, Eric Akel. Which appear in court? Who saw him? Did you see him? These people don't know how prepared we are. I did not see him in court. I did not see him. Nobody saw him. We only saw pictures of a GO4 and a, this thing in court that our leader wore Fendi inside court. That is the only thing I've seen. We have not, we didn't hear him speak. We didn't hear him talk. So, but what we are saying is that the focus is, the message I'm passing now is that the reason why it appears that they brought him to court is so that they will calm us down for the election in Anambra. You understand the point? That is my message. That is where I'm going. We have to be resolute and determine what is it that we want. We want the unconditional release of our leader, Mazin Amdekanu, now, and there will be no election in Anambra because we don't want election. We want a referendum to decide our fate. That is what our leader Mazin Amdekanu will do. You understand me? Buhari administration is responsible for whatever chaos happening in South East. You can frustrate people and expect them to behave themselves. No more election in Biafra land. That is the message. One more sit at home. This is what I agree with. You see, the problem with the one more sit at home is what we have always been saying from the beginning. You know, when we talk about it, people say we are attacking DOS or attacking leadership. <laughs> no, I have no interest. I don't even know them. I don't even know them. But the problem with the with the sit at home was the, the, the basis of the one more sit at home was if they if they bring our leader, if they refuse to bring our leader to court. Now that there are pictures flying everywhere that they say that they have brought our leader to court, is the one more sit at home gonna happen? You see, that is why we said that bringing Mazinam the Kanu to court is not something that should warrant for sit at home one month. What should warrant for sit at home one month is the unconditional release of our leader now. You understand the point? If they refuse to release our leader, Mazinam Dekanu, we should sit at home for one month. That would have been a better approach. You understand the point? So that is my message. But I don't want to go into deep that we will, we will disregard everybody that is do, doing rubbish and we must focus by ourselves to make sure that we release our, our leader, Mazinam Dekanu, is released unconditionally and we must make sure that there will be no election in Biafra land. Bonaventure say, Nsima, every person that lives in Biafra land must move to Anambra and make sure that no election must hold. Gloria say, Monday sit at home is okay, it will not harm us. Okay, fine. If I cannot force people to do Friday sit at home, the message is that what I'm trying to say is that we must sit at home to still pass the same message that we have not changed, that you have not calmed us down. What we want is the unconditional release of our leader, Mazin Amdi. That is my point. That is my... So, see, let me tell you, everything is in our hands. If we refuse to do it, we will never have our freedom. That is the point. If we, Whatever thing we are saying is to make sure that we have our freedom as soon as possible. You know, take actions as is necessary as soon as possible. You understand me? So, that is the point. One month sit at home and rest at home. You know, there's a lot of things that is involved in the one month sit at home because people will need to eat. There will be food, a need for food and everything. You see, that is what we are saying. Chibogo said, DOS said, if Mazinam Dikanu is not brought to court, there will be one month sit at home. That is playing along with the zoo. That is the thing. So no election in Anambe and Biafra land. Sit at home on Mondays and Fridays. That is the plan. We have always been sticking to the plan. We have already known the, that. Oh my God. I've said it already. Bringing Mazinam Dikanu to court is not a case. It's not a case. We could have said the unconditional release of our leader, Mazinam Dikanu. That could have triggered the one month sit at home. That is something that could have all of us could have been hammering on. But now we already seen the tricks and everything, the game plans. So we must focus on what we know. Sit at home every Monday and Friday, and there will be no election in Biafra land. My people, they have joined the case. Okay, somebody say what next? What next is that there will be no election in Anambra because the plan is that they have joined the case to 10th of November, making trying to buy us to allow election in Anambra. You get the point. So, but we are saying that there will be no election in Anambra. That is the next step. 
and Monday and Friday sit at home is something that we do. Why every other thing will happen on the ground? You understand me? It's not everything we're going to be saying here. Understand me? So, my people, we will continue to make sure that we defend and protect our land. That is our mission. Don't allow anybody to distract you. You can see yesterday the, how they continue to kill people so they will never change. It's not today that they will change and they will never change. So, we must be resolute and do what we want to do. We don't have anything to do with Janja weed. What we want is Biafra for our people. That is our message. You see? Now, what is the DOS going to say? I ask. I'm just chipping this one, you know. What is the DOS going to say? DOS, what are they going to say? Okay, they say, oh, they have brought Mas in Amdekanu to court. So we should allow election in Anambra. <laughs> I'm waiting for that. Uh, is DOS going to come and tell us, okay, now that they have brought Mas in Amdekanu to court, uh, did you see him? I did not see him. I only saw pictures. And they say these pictures was taken in the court, inside the court today. I have not seen him. I didn't see him. Nobody saw him. Even the journalists were not allowed to enter. All the videos that you are seeing was taken outside. The, no journalist was allowed to enter the, the court premises. Every video that you are seeing, all this, uh, whatever they are doing is outside. Even Showere was intimidated and every other person was intimidated. Do you understand now? So, uh, we are waiting for the DOS to come and tell us another step. What is the next step? Okay, now they are brought Mazin Amdekanu to court. Okay, so we should forget it at home and then uh, we should allow election in Anambra. Is that true? Oh my God, this is the problem. This is the problem. Let us do, when we want to do something, let us do it once and for all. We are aware of that, my brother. They are joined the case to enable Anambra elections. Thank you very much. But we say no election in Anambra and Biafra land, except a referendum. Very, very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. Thank you. I like what you're saying. Erica said, in Sima, there will be no election in Anambra. That idiot tried to campaign. They are turned out fire them. That's it. That is the message. I'm so happy because my people, we are on the same page and we understand this is what we need. All of us being on the same page and saying the same thing. We are saying that there will be no election. The reason why they are joining the case is because they want election to happen. So that they can now come and, um, and start their wickedness. You get the point? So no election. So our messages will be no election in Biafra land. Um, Asiet said, the major plan of this terrorist government is to hold Nam Dikanu in Comunicado after 2023. That is what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. It wasn't even their plan to bring him to... It was not in their plan to bring him to court. To bring them to court. To, it was not in their plan to bring Mazenam de Kanu to court. The reason why they brought Mazenam de Kanu to court is because of what we have been doing and what we have been saying. You get the point? It's because of the actions we have been taking. That is why they are afraid and they brought him to court. And in quest of the ele election in Anambra, you understand me? They wanted to kill him in the first place. They didn't even want anybody to see him. They, they just wanted our Biafra to just die like that. You know? But it did not work you know so i understand he said it wasn't even their plan to bring him to court but this just happened coincidentally due to the forthcoming election in anambra okay the entire south is must rise up enough is enough i saw the way they barred the well-respected uh Eze ife the former governor of anambra state from entering into the court the man was seated outside i saw him can they try this to their sultan of sokoto come on god need to destroy this hell once and for all that is the spirit is it my people is that anything they do me eh? is that anything they do me we for don't end this thing right from time but from today you will begin to know you understand me daddy said these people are playing with our intelligence uh, Sunday, uh, Asa baby. Um, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Amaka said we need Biafra, no election. Let's continue. Uh, Okonkwa, thank you very much. Did Ifa Yoba come to Abuja? I didn't see him. My uh, my hatred for Nigeria is increasing. Uh, all is correct, no election. The more they delay us, the more we Monday sit at home, continue on point, Zima, but the gate of hell will consume them soon. We have to be the one to initiate everything. That is what I'm saying. We have to be the, the one to initiate everything. Keso Umoren said, I didn't believe in that picture. They did not allow journalists to enter. Can you imagine that? I don't believe in anything. No. Whatever thing that happened, I don't believe in anything. What I, I saw that they took a picture and uh, a Jofo was there in the court, in the picture and every other person. But we, they, we don't even need to believe in any of this. Thing. What we want is the unconditional release of our leader. 
the fact is that they want you to believe that they brought him to court therefore you should allow election in anambra that is the message they are giving you but that is not what we want we want the unconditional release of our leader mass in amdikano you get the point uh steve say i don't believe mass in amdikano come to court when they didn't even bring any journalists to come so how can we tell nobody saw him we only saw pictures that fly everywhere pictures just be flying Clement, say, what's going on? I'm totally confused because I didn't see Mazi Namdi Kanu in court. Please, British government should be held responsible if anything happened to Mazi Namdi. I did not see him in court, of course. I didn't see him. I saw pictures. Austin Emmanuel say, Ibibio, Anang, Efi, we are all one. Uh, King Matthew say, what is the next step? <laughs> we have said it before. We have said it already. The next step is to take action. And what is the action? Anambra election. No, an no election in Anambra, first of all. Uh, my brother, I'm, bo I'm boring now with anger. I, I understand you're crying. This is a game, but their game will fail. Uh, all we want is Biafra and unconditional release of our leader. Whether they like it or not, we must, we must gain what we are grieving for. Thank you very much. It's a game plan. Everything that you see these people do is a game plan. The Southeast leaders and governors, they have connived with them, with the Janja, we telling them, okay, you see that these people are serious. You know, that is what they are. So they have told them, they have told the Janja with government that, man, these, these people are serious about this Biafra. You saw what they did to me in Lagos. If I know is telling them that you saw what they did to me in Lagos, you saw what they did to me, that these people are serious. So the only way we can buy their mind is for is is for us to uh, be as if uh, Mazinam the cano appear in court so that we can buy their heart the same thing ek equiremadu all of them it is the plan of them what they want is to buy our heart and then thinking that we will allow election in anambra but we already know the game plan he said let us use this opportunity to declare biafra you know i we we put more hope on the dos but we have seen that dos is still not uh, doing what we want you get the point you understand me because i'm not going to be the one to come and declare biafra you get the point we have a leadership in place that's supposed to do that you get the point so um we do appreciate the fact of them bringing him to court as they said but we didn't see him but all we want is the unconditional release of our leader mars in america no, he said you appreciate the fact what appreciate that is an insult to bring our leader Mazin Amdikano to court when he did not commit any crime. It's an insult. And they will all pay for it. Uh, Okoroji Pressure say, Oh, hey, Biafra, you, you have just opened my eyes now. Thanks. Picture is not enough proof to tell if the man we see is Namdikano. No, now. Picture can be taken. I can take a picture now as if I'm with Mazin Namdikano now. Are you not aware? I can take a picture now as if I'm with Namdikano. So they brought him to court. We don't brought him to court. We need unconditional release of Mazin Namdikano. Livinus says, so he wears the same cloth since they adopted him. You see the story now. So he wore the same cloth since they adopted him. They plan all things that they plan. And they brought Mazin and they say they take picture. Rubbish people. Turn that fire set down. Which case have they ever done without allowing journalists to come into the court? A do reasonable say we are very slow to this struggle. That is what I'm saying. For the government to understand we are not on serious is start bouncing on our governors. They, they are problem now. Francis said, don't worry, DOS will take actions immediately, but also wisely. <laughs> okay. Alex said, justice delayed is justice denied. Free our leader, Mazin Namdekanu, now. Uh, Uta Rafael said, our leader's case adjoined. So shall election in Biafra land should also be adjoined. <laughs> I like that one. T, our leader is free and free completely. Very good. Mm, that's another good point. So since they have decided to adjoin the case to 10th of November, election in Anambra should also be adjoined to 10th of November. Thank you, my brother, Raphael. That, that makes sense. Erica says, so long as I'm consigned, Kanu was, Kanu was not in court today because we, the people, did not see him. IBOB needs to start carrying us, the people, along. IBOB are nothing without the people. Now, politicians will come out and tell us that Kanu was in court today. So, we are expecting the DOS to do their broadcast today and tell us what they are, what they're going to be the next way forward. <laughs> I have seen, my people, I have told you that today will be the end of the shenanigans. Trust me. You know, DOS will come and give us an uh, update, right? Today. Maybe tomorrow because sometimes they, they are not fast. DOS is not active. They are very slow. They are not taking action. So let's see when they're going to give us update. But I'm telling you that today we define our next step. You get the point? Um, and that you should relax. What nonsense. Which evil politician saw him in court today? Nobody saw him in court today. Nobody saw him in court today. 
nobody saw him in court. Let them tell us who saw him in court. There will be no election in Anambra, QED. They will never be elected. Insima, that picture was not taken in the court because if it was taken in court, the Ohanese representative will be in that picture. I don't believe that is Mazinam the Kano. I like this. Yes, no election. Why would the court adjoin the, the court, the case to tent why the election date is six? They have plans for the election to hold. Dr. Cho of Ambassador raided military barracks and kept the community uncomfortable and baseless in their land. Oh my God, they are free. I don't know if DOA is afraid of doing the same thing because that's the only thing that will bring our freedom. Very correct. No, I have just told you that today we define the end of all these things. I'm not joking. Today we define the end. We are too slow. Uh, Dallas, but this is to start destroying all oil and gas facilities in Biafra land. No, we don't even need to destroy our facilities. We shut it. We shut it because it's our facilities. We can't be destroying our facilities. We shut it. And we drive all the Janja with people away. Peter said, now the real unknown government will resume work. We are going to put pressure on DOS from now on. They can't be slow again. Hmm. Okay. We are waiting now. Fried S. Siri said, our lodger should confirm to us if it was Mazinam the Kanu or not. What do you expect? Didn't you see the picture? What is he going to tell you? He's going to tell you that it was Mazinam the Kanu now. We are furious because we didn't see the video. No election is still in our land. Very good. The kind of security that follow Mazinam the Kanu, even president cannot be followed like that. Biafra president with his convoy today. I like that one. Yeah, I saw it. Um, Anambra election has been adjoined forever. Thank you. David said we need to be attending to our governors right now. They are our problems right now. Of course, that is what we have been saying. Bringing the fight home. Bringing the fight home. Mikey and Dubisi, my brothers, no Biafra, no life. <laughs> that is the spirit. I love what I'm seeing here. Emeka, uh, Emeka said, Nam the Kanu lawyers are brilliant. Biafra must come. Benjamin said, You are smart, bro. Your right up makes sense. No election in Anambra. Ah, ah. What are we talking about? There, is, there should not be election. We did not see our leader Mazinamba. Did you see him? Even in the video, we didn't see him. In the videos, we didn't see him. Yes, we, we have the right to say we didn't believe that it was Mazinam the that was brought to court because we didn't see him. Mazinam the Kano was smiling but not happy. Of course, you know, if, it, if they say it was Mazinam the that they brought to court here, yeah, um, some, you know, there's another argument. Some people are saying, oh, people that said uh, Mazinam the Kano is not well, now that they should, they, he doesn't look as if he's not well. You see that kind of a point? He doesn't make people, I don't know. Do you expect our leader to be frowning his face on taking pictures? Um, Fabian said, uh, see, my DOS is not slow, okay? Everything is not by uh, gasping both lips. <laughs> you can abuse me now. You have the right because you see me here, of course. Mohammed said, um, Mr. Man, stop that. Namdi Kanu is at the court. I saw him by himself. He's heady, very handsome today. <laughs> see this one. You saw him in the court. Were you in the court? <sighs> Uh, Joe Connor said they are afraid of our learned lawyers. The zoo has nothing to offer. That is why they are misbehaving. Dokla say uh, our leader must set free from. Let us wait and hear from DOS over Anambra election because it's a trap for DOS. Whether they will fall for it or not. That is what I'm saying now. Everything will end today. We are hearing for the up. We are waiting for the update from DOS. They're going to give us their own side of the story, right? Uh, a job is supposed to brief DOS, right? So uh, DOS will come and tell us. I said today will mark the end of all these things. You think I'm joking? Kelechi Imano say if Masinam Dikano was in the court, really, why do they refuse allow people to see it? These people are playing with our intelligence. No election is and sit at home is the only language that we understand because people are started writing. That, uh, that uh, because they brought our leader to court today, that it has dismissed uh, people saying that our leader Mazin Amdikanu is sick or is, 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 was killed. You see the point? What well, That is rubbish talk. You saw picture and you start talking nonsense. A do reasonable. Seriously, personally, it has been long. I stopped following the DOS orders. I don't believe in them anymore. <laughs> Not you, my brother. Okay, Phoebe, thank you. I salute you. Francis, something bigger is about to happen very soon. Uh, Keso said, I don't want to say bad against Barista Ijofo. I'm still thinking about if they did not bring him with moto. They did not snap the moto or our leader is inside or when he come down. <laughs> Nobody saw Mazinam Dikano at all entering inside the court. Is there anybody that saw him? I saw pictures. That's why you saw the pictures I posted. The picture I posted is the picture that they said they took from the court. But nobody saw him drive there or inside. 
Masi Chukse is the same people that claim to be seeing him that is on the pictures. Why is Bruce Finn not in the picture? <laughs> Thank you very much. Another analysis is coming. Guys, you know, I'm somewhere now. I'm somewhere. That is why I'm not analyzing the pictures very well. But I just wanted to give update. It's just the beginning. We have started. Today is the day we said we're going to put an end to all these things. We have seen all the pictures. We have taken all the pictures. We will analyze. We will tell you more. You understand me? That is why I'm saying that there will be no election in Anambra because that is their game plan. It's not going to work. Um, uh, our leader can never appear to the zoo court without a Biafra logo. Very good. Those Photoshop pictures can never brainwash all the Biafrans. Sit at home must continue. See, I like every comment that I've seen today. I like the, uh, my people. We are on the track. We understand what these men are doing. Until we see results. What is the result? See, don't, don't worry. Until we see results. What is the result? The unconditional release of our leader, Mazenam Dikanu, and there will be no election. Every other rubbish is nonsense. You know what I mean? Uh, Chijoke said, DOS is not slow as some would think. They are rather being strategic in their approach. Okay, continue saying it. Anna Yodan, you say, I'm seeing more escalation in the East. Of course. What are you talking about? <laughs> we are just starting and they are just... Livino said, please, we all should know that the DOS cannot decide for us because they have not done anything since our leader is abducted. You see, that is why I said that. Even DOS cannot do anything alone. It has to be with the people. You know, it is if DOS fail to work with the people, then they have made a mistake. You understand me? So that's why I said we should listen to the broadcast today. There's supposed to be an emergency broadcast tonight or even immediately after this case so that we, after they get update from uh, uh, Geo4, because I know they will give update, right? So they will, not, they will need to now address us. Or are they going to say, are they going to say it's a Geo4 that will address us? Stella say, I don't agree. That is not my leader. He should talk to us before we believe. Very correct. Nobody saw him inside the court. People that went to visit him were molested. None of the journalists were allowed inside the court. <laughs> there is something fishy, my people. <laughs> we are Biafrans. Mohammed Musa Kabiru, you are not a Biafran. You know, you are a janja weed. You don't know anything. You know, so you, you will not think like us. We think differently. You get the point. One month sit at home from next week. Um, Kelechi said, please, we need more ideas that will hasten our leader's release. Uh, Chico Dili said, no election in Biafra land, especially an Ambra. Michael said, please, I love what you are doing. Please, don't undermine the leadership. Don't undermine the leadership of the where we can be, behave like the zoo of today. I'm not undermining anything. I don't know where you people are coming from. We are asking the U.S. something. I didn't know that our leaders. Are we not going to call their names? Abo, try off. Try off. Nsima, uh, that picture of Mars in Amnikano also very important because it will cure high BP of our mothers. We need videos, not pictures. Only a Jofo and a Jimoko I saw in the picture. What about the white man that came? So the white man was not allowed in the court, my people. We will analyze. We are just starting. We just this is just we are just starting. We are just starting. We are just starting. So my people, I am so much happy that we are all on the same page that we will never allow election in Biafra land, especially in Anambra. The reason why they brought, they say they brought Mars and Amdekanu to court is to buy our mind so that we can allow election. But we are saying no election in Biafra land. Anybody that keep asking you what next is a janja weed. You understand me? Anybody in this comment section asking you what next is so stupid and is a janja weed. You understand me? Because you cannot be asking us, you keep asking rubbish questions. Enyita Emmanuel said, it is not about appearing in the court, but to release on condition. This is what we have been saying now. We release our leader unconditionally. Now they now say they now are joining to the 10th of November and election will be 6th of November. Do you see the, the tricks? We must continue. We are biting them. We must continue. Biafrans, I think something bigger is rising from the east and the politician, governors and evil people will feel it badly. I already said it from today. There will be no election in Anambra. All these men will run away. Mention all of them. They will all run away. We don't need to talk too much. This is Facebook. If you talk anyhow, Facebook will just block you anyhow, you know? Even I didn't even say anything. They block my page. They restrict my page. You see? But I'm just telling you, all these men, we know them one by one. They will all run away from Biafra land. There will be no election. As we are speaking to you now, every campaign activities will cease. 
uh, this one is asking me what is janja weed again anybody that is a janja weed knows that it's a janja weed um keso umoren said there was a barista man and woman there that was come out and tell the journalist that mazinam they can wear yellow clothes but my latest surprise is that after saw the picture fendi clothes kelvin says see <laughs> erica kel say we are miles ahead of them you understand me we are miles ahead of them i saw the picture now we we take the pictures that they show us you understand me we take the picture we are not going to say we know we saw the pictures but then we're going to ask them more questions you understand and that is what we are going to be doing chidi machibuzo said no picture of him no live video of kanu they want to deceive us with photoshop picture biafra be wise uh, danny said who knows if that man is really namdi kanu buari has a fake mask who knows who is wearing mask in namdi kanu face we must move ahead we are giving them hot hot the video of mazinam de kanu is on my page no <laughs> the video of mazinam de kanu is on your page which video are you are you just starting <laughs> they did not bring him period we need to extend the sit at home on monday friday and sunday sit at home so we're going to get what the us is going to say this evening and then we'll continue because today will mark the end of the shenanigans you understand me Okay, Martin say no campaign, no election in Anambra. They think we are joking because we have not come after them. You understand me? Um, Kelechi said no elections in Anambra state on the 6th November because we understand that they brought him and are joining to 10 so that they will get chance and conduct election on the 6th. I like it. Thank you, my people, because we are on the same page. We are going there. Joseph said we must continue. Kanu was in court today, but we must not stop the seat at home. We did not see him in court. We saw pictures we saw pictures that they say they brought him to court nobody saw him no journalist saw him show where did not see him nobody was able to see him we need to see his live videos in the court to believe that he's still alive paul emeka all we know is no election in anambra peter said that musa that ds try and block him off is just for distraction don't worry francis he says send the video for us don't mind that one that's stupid telling us that you saw a video of mazinam the kind all of us we watch all the everywhere there's no video anywhere stop he's deceiving himself kelechi emmanuel say we are so happy to have someone like you mazi uh, sima thank you very much i'm so happy to also have you because we are here together we can't do it alone mazi uh, emmanuel said biafrans have also postponed the anambra election to december 6 and there will be no election unless our leader is free you see that is the question now is dos still gonna say <laughs> see i'm telling my i don't want to still repeat it i don't want to still mention in dos so that all of you will say oh i'm undermining dos because we're going to listen to them because now they say oh my the guy brought to court okay so we're not going to do sit at home so is there going to be election so what are we going to do yeah, so you are happy that Mazinam de Kanu is in DSS custody. Is that what you're saying? Today will mark the end of all this nonsense. Uh, no election free Mazinam de Kanu, innocent detainee of France across the country. No election is final. Thank you very much. Emma said, this country want to play with the destiny of many people in this Africa. Okay, no problem. Whether they like it or not, the sun must rise. Yes, that is the truth. You know, they are playing the games. All these uh, Southeast leaders, governors, they went and played the games. You know, they just, they stopped everybody from entering the court. They took pictures. I don't know where they take pictures. So our leader is wearing one cloth ever since they say he was kidnapped. So they told us he was wearing Fendi. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that. Chooks, no election in Biafra land. Thank you. Erica, we are, we are an army of journalists. They did not bring Nam Kanu to court. Our lawyers should make sure they don't lie to us today. Jesus, is Kano even alive? Oh, this FG is looking for serious trouble. No problem, they will hear from us. It's only Mazinam the Kano photo that comes today, not him. I beginning to lose trust on Barista Jofo and others. Why can't they make a short video? Yes, now somebody is taking picture. Oh my God, stop deceiving us, man. They should stop deceiving. He said the video is there, <laughs> Paul. Paul, I'll block you if you keep talking bullshit. Stop talking nonsense. You can't come and be deceiving people here. In fact, I don't even know you. Block that rubbish out of my page. Um, Joseph, say all road leads to DOS for now. A dossier must come on air to address the world. He, he doesn't know. HG Rose say we are waiting for the video. Everybody, which video? Are they going to give another uh, Photoshop video? Please. 
I follow everything up now. Everybody followed it up. Huh? It's because I'm somewhere. That's why I couldn't. I couldn't do life. I could have. I follow everything up. Okuro, I'm getting mad now. It's time we're beginning to hunt this. My blood is getting hot. I stand with no election. That's true. Mazinam de Kanu is only the one to stop sit at home. You see my well done. Thank you very much. That is the only thing, and that is what we must do. My people, the message is very clear. None of us saw our leader Mazinam de Kanu in the court today. There was no journalist that was allowed to enter into the court premises. Some lawyers were restrained, stopped from entering. Only few that maybe eventually entered, which we don't know. Nobody saw Mazinam de Kanu in any car. We saw that we know that the the uh, the foreign lawyer came with uh, a Jofo, but in the pictures that they sent to us, we, none, we did not see any foreign lawyer anywhere. So we don't believe any of those rubbish. What we want is the unconditional release of our leader Mazinam the Kanun now, and there will be no election in Anambra. That is just what I want to say for now until when DOS address us. But remember, today is going to be an end to all the rubbish. And today defines the new dimension for Biafra restoration. Remember, my name is Insima. I'm from Akwaibom. Akwaibom is Biafra. Cross Rivers is Biafra. And we must continue to protect and defend our land.